Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Good day. How's it going? Okay. Boy, like, I don't know what's going on. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. I've thought about doing this video for quite a few years, but events of recent have uh, influenced me to make this video now because there's so many pennies from heaven just floating down from the government just to give to everybody here in Canada. Now, I know millions of you out there have actually traveled to Canada, but unless you've actually lived here, you don't realize how crazy it is and how much free money is being given out. It's kind of like if I told all of you that are watching right now to give me $10,000 a year, and then when things got tough, you know, you phoned me up and you said, hey, Andrew, things are tough, I need some money. And I go, yes, well, you did give me $10,000, so because I'm a kind and benevolent person, I'm gonna give you $2,000 of your own money back. <laughs> now, of course, many of you know that I'm a conservative, and that doesn't mean, because I know I'm gonna get some bitching and moaning from some of the liberals out there. I do realize there are some people out there that are doing the best they can. They work full-time, maybe more than full-time. They need a little bit of help. I get it, but it's getting really ridiculous. Let's go through some examples of how pennies from heaven can be yours if you are a Canadian. Keep in mind, many of you Americans out there, if at least one of your parents was a Canadian, <laughs> you're a Canadian. You can come on up here and help yourself to the bags of money that we're all getting, whether we like it or not. Because as a matter of fact, there's so many times where I check my bank balance online or go to the bank and suddenly there's an extra thousand dollars in there and I go where did that money come from oh yes the benevolent socialist government is giving me more of my money back <laughs> it's crazy some real-life examples online there are so many government estimators of what kind of benefits you can get and what kind of cash money you can get depending on your income most of the stuff is means tested but the means is quite high there's uh, a remarkable amount of money sometimes you have to make before they actually cut you off from these uh, programs. But for example, if you are a family of four and you have two kids, here in Canada we have refundable tax credits for having children. I know that's not fair to those who choose not to have kids and for those couples who cannot have kids, but this is the way it works. I ran through the simulator and put in a taxable income of $60,000 a year, which if you weren't living in a big center in Canada, you actually could live okay on $60,000 a year. You might even be able to own your own home. I know 60 grand a year in Vancouver or Toronto isn't much, but I'll give you an example. If you're a family of four with two kids, you're getting almost $12,000 of free money. Hey, just for having kids and keeping those kids alive. Yeah, you're getting that every year. It keeps going up every year too, so yeah, don't, don't worry, government's got your back. Have more kids, you'll get more money. In fact, the government of Quebec, they actually pay you to have kids. Yeah, they're always in a cultural battle with the rest of us uh, non-Catholics. <laughs> they somehow feel that if they don't encourage more people to be Quebecers, that somehow they'll disappear, which uh, uh, I think that's a false promise. And don't, I'm not really bashing French people. I like French people. Don't don't misunderstand me here. But the government of Quebec, if you have a kid, they'll give you 500 bucks. Eh, kind of modest, get it? Second kid, they'll give you 1,000 bucks. Every third kid, now once you have three kids or more, every subsequent kid from the third one on, $6,000 baby bonus just for giving birth. Oh yeah, and don't forget all your maternity health care costs, we're free. Yeah, we have universal health care here in Canada, coast to coast to coast. It's all free. And say you don't want kids, that abortion's free too. I know you liberals out there are just cheering for that. And what about universal income? We're heading in that direction, we're not quite there. We got your back if you're an older person and you actually didn't put any money away. <laughs> we have a universal income scheme for those of you who are older. Yes, if you're 65 or older, you get free money. Everybody, as a matter of fact, from the old age security program gets a check for a little over 600 bucks. I think it's $618 right now. Free money, yeah. And let's say your income isn't quite up to around $20,000. Don't worry, we'll top it up to 20 grand. 
It's all wonderful. Hey, are you over 75? Let's add 10% to the old age security. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Now, we all know that you need transportation to get to a job if you're contributing to all this nonsense. <laughs> Let's say you want an electric car. Take your old beater, scrap it. They'll give you 500 bucks. And then when you go to buy your electric car, and the BC government will give you 3,000 bucks towards your next hybrid or electric car. And don't worry, there's more, there's more. Another $5,000 from the federal government. So you can buy that new electric car or hybrid or whatever the heck you want. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Free money, right there. Junk an old 72 Cortina that's rotten out in your driveway. 500 bucks, another 3,000, another 5,000, 8,500 bucks, pennies from heaven, towards that new car. No wonder used cars are worth almost as much as new cars here, because of silly programs like that. Here in British Columbia, today they actually just announced more pennies from heaven. We actually have a socialized government owned insurance company. All your basic insurance is, has to be bought through the government. You can get supplemental insurance from a private company, but your basic insurance must come from the government so they control it as a monopoly. Everybody's been complaining about the gas prices and of course our politicians are blaming the Russian thing and the COVIDs and all that stuff for the high prices. They decided in their benevolence to give everybody who has a vehicle registered in BC a check for $110. Oh yay, thank you very much. I can't even actually fill up this RV for $110. It's about like double that. <laughs> So I'll be getting a check uh, times four, I guess, because I have four vehicles. <laughs> and this is how incompetent they are. Apparently people with electric cars that don't use gasoline are gonna get 110 bucks. I'm sure we're gonna have to squeeze their head a bit and make them change their mind that if you own an electric car that doesn't use fossil fuel, why the heck do you get 110 bucks? And by the way, it's our own money that we pay into the insurance scheme. They've got a huge surplus because we moved to a no-fault accident scheme where now, if somebody runs over me, instead of me suing them and getting a million dollars, no, they're just going to give me, you know, a check for, I don't know, what, 1200 bucks every week for the rest of my life. Okay, yeah, 1200 bucks a week might be okay. And, of course, they'll take care of my health care bills because, you know, everybody gets that for free in Canada, too. But... Eh, sometimes that pain and suffering check does help, especially when you need a few extras in life once you become disabled from a car accident. Even during the COVIDs, almost everybody who qualified, which was most people who were affected, were getting at least 2000 bucks a month. Oh yeah, can't believe it, pennies from heaven. Everybody was running out and buying new fancy vehicles, driving the price of used vehicles up even more. And we even have done a funny thing here in British Columbia where we call it buy on the votes. In many places of the world, this would be called illegal, but our socialist new democratic party here in British Columbia, which I worked for that evil government years ago, they in their wisdom decided to actually buy votes by saying, hey, if you make 85,000 bucks or less, and you vote for us and we get elected. Of course, it's all contingent upon them getting elected because if they don't get elected, you can't get your money. So if you vote for us, we'll give you a thousand bucks tax free. Yeah, thank you very much. Guess what happened? They offered that money, they got elected, we all got our thousand bucks. <laughs> How ethical is that for politicians to even do that? Now, you actually have to, as a conservative, you know, plug your nose from the stench and take the money because the prices of everything are rising and they're just using the company government credit card to run up the deficit tab. So I guess you have to take the money even if you are a conservative because you're just going to pay more taxes to service the debt over time anyway. And don't forget, we also do have a welfare program for people who actually don't even want to work. And we don't even do food stamps or anything like that around here. No, they just cut those people a check. I believe right now, it's not very much, but you'd probably make $750, 800 bucks a month, plus get free dental, which Canadians actually don't get free dental care. They get universal health care, but not dental care or free medication. No, it's free if you're in a hospital, but it's not free on a day-to-day -day basis in your personal life. You actually got to pay for that. Thankfully, I do have a benefits plan that uh, is given to me from my retirement and it subsidizes that because it's a private insurance scheme and I took care of that because, you know, I figured it was important to work for somebody that actually would give me a pension with benefits when I got older. 
So now Trudeau, in his brilliant wisdom, has formulated some sort of a uh, truce with the ultra-left socialist NDP federal government, and they've decided they're going to implement universal dental care for everybody, starting with the kids first, because, you know, it's a political thing to win points to say, hey, what about those kids from poor families that need dental care? I get it. I get it. They do need dental care. But having everybody else pay for it, is that really the way to go? And of course they want to make it so everybody gets that free dental care down the road. So they'll be winding that in. Why work full time and work hard and keep advancing your career? Because you can have a really good lifestyle if you make sure you don't become too successful because the government will just look after you. Yes, it will. And strangely, as many of my Republican friends in the United States would agree, the whole system penalizes success. If you're successful enough to make at least a couple good decisions in life that you can provide for yourself and your family, you're actually penalized by paying more taxes and you get less services. Meanwhile, those middle earners or the poor, they're just cashing in, getting the pennies from heaven when they actually have no incentive, actually a disincentive for actually improving themselves. So when are we actually going to quit penalizing success? Or maybe some of you are going to actually phone your mom and dad tonight and say, hey dad, weren't you a Canadian citizen? <laughs> and come on up to Canada, get the free monies, and you too can be part of this socialist experiment that we call Canada. God save the Queen, and I hope you're doing well. Put your comments down below, and I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. Okay, the reason why, eh, is that... Canadian beer is like stronger, has more alcohol in it. Really? Yeah.